Okay, we continue the uh, character sitting with the game over effect. Delete that light. It means when you game over, what happened to the camera and the character? So the character again going down to game over delay. This delay means, for example, three seconds. If you will, if you die, start. If you die, one, two, three, and after that, you are going to the game over menu. I delete all of sound that it's very annoying for me now. <clears throat> As you can see, we insert all of the sound, and you can insert them again. If you hit your edit, if not, you don't need to click and drag it again. They are there. Okay, this is game over delayed. Delay to going to the game over <clears throat> menu. As you can see, the camera shakes after we hit the enemy or hit a uh, white flash. Look at the game. We have a shake and white. Ooh, we have a shake and white. Yeah, we can. Uh, increase or decrease the amount of the flash or the shake and the fall attribute to for example centimeter to unit it will be fall up and then down for example if you make it five <coughs> you play after we hit you go ooh, up down and oh we stop okay <laughs> You can change it to the two or one. It's nice. This is monetization about how to uh, <clears throat> buy your character with a free. It's uh, it's a free or in-game currency or in app purchase or rewarded video. You you have to look a video and then you unlock something or click on a web. Uh, I think I will explain them in separate lessons, but I think. Uh, this uh, working with those settings need the uh, commercial version of the build box I think the most of them but here we are going to the character gameplay setting first I delete that angry enemy going to back to the setting this is mass max speed it is this is box is X and this is Y we have a vertical game uh landscape game this is we need just max x in a x direction the some of the some of the game are a, a vertical the portrait or we need the speed at the y axis so when you increase it for understanding the effect of them you have to click from the first preview this uh, button will not work start as we can see, we have a slow speed to the 15. <clears throat> a bounce force. First, I will be insert uh, other character and explain something more for you. For inserting character, simply go into your character and insert a character here. Click and drag it and insert it as a character. This is not warning. It just show you you can use one character in this scene that's okay when you click that you can as before you can uh, you can insert the default animation but we have one image here it's not important and you can insert any animation here but we are working on this For how we can change our character we have to go into the play and we have to choose our character here in uh, UI. For do, for uh, making that setting, we have to go with menu editor. As you can see, this is our map. When we start going to the main menu UI user interface and then going to the game, after that, we are going to the game over. This is uh, Word UI. I explain all of them. Don't worry. Double click on the menu UI. As you can see, this is a you can change the graphical here. This is a button that we can start. I want to insert our two character here. For that, I will be explaining all of those button buttons. You simply go multiple unlock, click and drag it here. All of that character that we insert here. Here you can see 
the uh, the size of the character is very important here because in this menu the character will be insert with re, uh, with uh, original size you cannot uh, minimize them here so uh, when you design your character uh, pay attention to the to the size so just we can split them from each other and it's done going to the <clears throat> our map double click on a word to bring to our editor and when you play now as you can see we can with the click and drag or um, uh, touch in your phone we can uh, choose between character this is character name that showed there because there are very <laughs> big character we cannot its name okay we select that character and we have that character now oh this is bad happening we are going under the clouds because the character i think insert going to the start where is our character yeah this is character number one Oh, oh, character number three, where is it? Okay. And that is character. You have to bring it up to upper cloud or like this. It's the front of the cloud. Okay. Uh, this is uh, my character, but this is not name here because we changed it to the first. This is our main character that we are working on. It. When we want to change it, we have to change it at the first in the main UI. Okay. Uh, going to the our character and continue settings. This is uh, bounce force. When we insert our character here, we have <clears throat> bounce force here. This is ma max speed. When you click on any of them, you can change its settings here. Okay, this is max speed, 50 is nice. And when we insert that character, we have a bounce at Y axis. As you can see, it's jumping, jumping. We are giving that bounce for character is like a ball or you can do it in any character that you want. This is bounce force at the y-axis, for example, give it 50 and we preview it, select our character girl, as you can see, we have a bouncing. This is force bounce. You can give it to the y-axis or x-axis, it's not important. A very important thing here is a jump force. Okay, if we select our if you insert a new character like this and then oh we have a bounce force for our character here as you can see this is its settings and we have a <clears throat> bounce force here make it zero to play refresh it select this and as you can see we have not bounce oh it's uh going by itself because we have no friction at the platform it's like in slipping on the ice. Okay, we have to change the sitting from scratch, and I'll explain you. Uh, when you uh, w first, I first I want to increase its friction here. Platform friction, increase it. For example, just nice. And play it again. Select that, and as you can see, we are stick on our position. <clears throat> When you uh, hit the J on a keyboard, as you can see, we will not will jump because in this character we haven't any jump force. We have to set it at the Y. For example, if you want to jump at the Y, we have to set the jump force any number. For example, the 50 is nice for that. Uh, 50 is nice for every, uh, most of the settings. And now we can jump with this character. Refresh that select that and hit the J to jump okay okay something is uh, wrong with this collision I think active debug and as you can see our collision is a square select our <clears throat> character going to the collision shape and make it circle 
you can increase the radius by this and it's everything okay play game select our character and everything is right but we need something to avoid this uh, rotating what is that we are going to settings so you learn uh, friction here platform friction and you learn something fixed rotation for rotating character here if you hit the fix uh, you active fix rot oh sorry plate refresh now oh, we have a bug here okay i don't know why but it doesn't show me going to the here and as you can see the uh, circle character will be not rotate anymore this is fixed rotation and hit and we can jump like this okay that's nice and we have a nice friction turn the debug okay you learn some of the settings now uh, so for jumping we need a jump force at the y-axis for uh, this kind of the gains and an important thing is a jump time out we select that character again to its settings make sure which character you are selecting okay select this gear <clears throat> the jump timeout is a, a small number that uh, like this in a second when you hit the jump if you hold your keyboard if you hold your button the keyboard it will be just uh, do the jumping in this second 0.01 second if you hit it for example one second or two second the jump process will be continued to two seconds and cause a lots of problem for us select that heal j and hold your button as you can see we we'll jump to the sky and boom everything is crashed so the jump timeout is it has to be a little number that in this second just act the jump and release it and you can no longer uh, jump again if you hold it if you hit the ground jump from the ground is active if you hit the ground and you can jump again to reset we have something called jump counter you can uh, jump three times at the uh, in air if you want as you can see, jump, 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 jump to the air and finish. Jump, 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 jump. Three. One, two, three. And hit, if we hit the ground, it will reset. And you can jump three times again. Another three times. I will explain uh, ground threshold in next character. Also, left and force, right and force in the next lesson of character and you understand the platform friction you can it's very important when we have something like wheel or uh, bicycle or car character i explain you and interesting things something like uh, rotation drag it's a rotation drag um, for example in this character if I inactive the fixed rotation but we increase the uh, rotation drag it's lumped is something forcing that preventing the character from rotating this is rotation drag go into the first and select that character again as you can see we we have not any more fixed rotation but because of the rotation drag the character will be not rotate but if we hit the ground we'll rotate like this but it, it does not rotate by itself by itself if you want to rotate anymore you have to uh, activate a fixed rotation if you like the air drag if you change this number it's for gain that we are underwater that i will be uh, give you an example in the uh, next games 
Uh, direction movement is when your character, for example, is here in this character, it's directly moved from its position. You can see it right now. Refresh it, select that character, and our character is here, it does not fall down and <laughs> uh, move in its di uh, the direct direction. This is very important with some of games, okay? We activate it in some other games that I will be explaining you. In the next lessons, uh, you learn force movements important for forcing movement when we uh, click in these buttons or uh, our keyboard. I explain this those buttons jump. This is jump button. As you can see, we have a little jump jump button because of the rotation drag. Oh, be, sorry, because of the direct movement. So be careful of direct movement. It's used in a special games. And now we can jump. And because of the fixed rotation, the character will not be rotate. Interesting and important thing is the last thing is image direction. As you can see in this game, in this girl, if we select that, refresh it, start it. If we go to the left or right, as you can see, uh, the character will be turned back and its face will be turned back if in its settings we inactive that play it again refresh it we are going forward if we are going backward as you can see its face does not back okay and change its direction so we need uh, in this situation, for example, in this character, we don't need to image direction. But in this character that it has a face and uh, forward or backward of face is important, we have to activate the image direction. And everything goes right. Going to the right, going to the left, it's changing its face. Okay, everything is now correct. We can shooting, we can jumping. And everything is correct for a game. Nice. How it build box do easily for you and make your very hard game. For example, if you want to uh, assemble it in a Unity or in an Unreal Engine, we have a lots of trouble and we have to learn a lot of things. But in a build box, you just click and drag, or the other things will be do for you and automatically. Okay, those are the sitting of the character in game playing character sitting. Uh, stay tuned with us for other tutorial. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.